I'm Robert Kuntz, Deputy News Editor for Physical Sciences at Science Magazine. It's um, a process that involves mainly two sets of people here, uh, the news staff of Science Magazine and the editors who edit the scientific papers. And then behind us, of course, we have all these other resources we can draw on. We have our, our board of reviewing editors, people who are scientists. We are looking for research results that um, either answer some big question that uh, somebody, people have been wondering about for a long time, or uh, they seem likely to open the door for a lot of productive research in the future, or preferably both. My favorite breakthrough was um, when we did the Poincaré conjecture. It was this mathematical theorem that had been kicking around for about a century and a half, and people had been um, working on it for a long, long time, lots of false starts, and finally somebody proved it. Now this year, we started off with um, sort of really low tech. We have this idea jar that we put in our kitchen and we encourage people to uh, leave notes in there with, with um, ideas for the breakthroughs. And um, the only drawback to this method was that it didn't work, nobody left any notes. One reason was that we got a, a new high tech coffee maker in there. And it takes so much concentration to use that thing that people just didn't have any left over to think about breakthrough of the year ideas. Our breakthrough of the year, cancer immunotherapy is very different from all of the breakthroughs that I can remember. We have preliminary results this year from two different methods that are very encouraging, but they're so preliminary that we were kind of afraid of this one. We, 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 when we were saying, I mean, do we really dare say this? Because people will think we're saying that there's a cure for cancer and there isn't. But we thought that um, after talking to oncologists and um, other physicians and, and um, various kinds of biomedical researchers, they were so excited about this. And they said, this is so promising and it has the potential, the potential to save a lot of lives that um, we decided that we would just go for it.